Okay, we went ahead and changed the load values on the uh, ESG analyzers to 500. Okay, 500 ohms on each side. Um, what I'm going to illustrate now is the, the, the sensing of the, uh, the power is done internally uh, to the unit, if you will, prior to the split in the circuit where it becomes a, uh, a combination uh, series parallel circuit. And because of that, if I do quick deactivations and activations in simultaneous mode, um, or in twin coag mode rather, you'll notice that for a, a nanosecond, it'll try to display as though it was not in twin coag. Um, and that's because it, it, it actually is not in twin coag that when I let up for, for, a moment, for a moment anyway. So we're gonna try to illustrate that real quickly. Um, but the, what we're going to illustrate first to contrast that is that, well, we're not able to look at power inside of the parallel portion of the circuit because there's no sensors, obviously, in that part of the circuit because it's comprised of the two pencils themselves. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and illustrate that. Um, that's why we cannot read that power because it's, it's not sensed. Now, the minute I let off uh, activation uh, for surgeon one here, in my right hand, we're, we're, we're sort of back out of twin coag and we're into regular monopolar coagulation. And if you watch the Irby display on the bio here, for just a moment you'll be able to see what's being delivered. Okay, there it is. Uh, trying to fool the unit. 80 watts is delivered right now as I go back and forth. Um, but here again, I was illustrating the shift, and we're going to go ahead and bring in Surgeon 2 again to illustrate the split. Surgeon, I'm sorry, Surgeon 1. Surgeon 2 now is going to drop out, and there's the shift. Now we're going to come back into Surgeon 2 to see the split. Okay? Now we're going to go ahead and go to Effect 7 and do the same thing. Here again, we're at, we're at 500 ohms this time. That's, that's the difference. Here we go, simultaneous activation. Surgeon 1 drops out. We saw the shift. Surgeon 1 comes back in, there's the split. Surgeon 2 drops out, there's the shift. Surgeon number uh, 2 comes back in, and there's the split. We're going to go ahead and take a look now at effect 6. Okay? Same load values, 500 still. Simultaneous activation. There's the split. Surgeon 1 drops out, there's the shift. Surgeon 1 comes back in, there's the split. Surgeon 2 drops out, there's the shift. Surgeon 2 comes back in, and there we have the uh, split. We're going to drop down to effect 5. Okay, same load value, 500. <coughs> okay, there you see it. There's the division. Surgeon 1 drops out, there's the shift. We saw momentarily how it was trying to display um, uh, power delivered. Come back into Surgeon 1, you saw it again on the early display there. Surgeon 2 drops out. There's the shift. Surgeon 2 comes back in. Okay. For test purposes, <coughs> we're not logging the exact, uh, the exact wattage that is delivered on each of these different scenarios because it's all plus or minus. Uh, 10 to 15 percent uh, of the split itself and obviously it's in compliance with 15 percent for overall delivered power uh, which is actually tighter than the Amy standard of 20 percent okay which is kind of nice uh, here we have effect four we're going to go simultaneous there you have the split surgeon one drops out for the shift comes back in there's the split surgeon two drops out there's the shift Surgeon 2 comes back in, and there you have it one more time. We're going to try effect 3 now. Okay. And if you're noticing as we go along here, the actual power delivered in the ESU analyzers here, um, you'll notice that uh, it doesn't really appear to be changing very much, no matter what effect we're on. Okay. For this particular test, anyway. <clears throat> There's the shift. Surgeon 1 comes back in, split, Surgeon 2 drops out, there's the shift. 
kidding. We're seeing a little bit more um, of variance here as we get into the lower effects. Okay. As you'll see after the shift, uh, we're down to about 66 watts. There's the split. Okay. There you have it. Okay, now let's do effect two. We won't even bother with one. Should I just use that one? Um, okay, here we go. Effect two, 100 watts, 500 ohms on both units. There it is, there's a split. Okay, um, now we're going to go ahead and bam. There's the shift. Surgeon one comes in. Okay, there's 48, 44. Surgeon two drops out. Um, and we are noticing the lower the effect, obviously the lower the power output. That's illustrated here plainly. Okay, surgeon two comes back in and there's the split. Notice that the, uh, in, in simultaneous, or in twin coag, in the lower effects, only in twin coag when you're doing simultaneous activation of both pencils, do you really have more of a 100% output. Um, when, you, when you shift over, when one surgeon drops out and you're on one pencil, you'll notice there's quite a substantial uh, difference in, in the actual overall wattage delivered.